Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is super exciting because Johnny and I are doing a like vintage beach photo shoot type of thing with our second shooter from our wedding. So we're just really excited to be doing that with her. I love photo shoots and we haven't had like a couples photo shoot since, well I mean our wedding of course, but before that I honestly can't even remember. Like maybe our engagement photos or something. But we used to get shoots all the time, like before being engaged and just like little fun photo shoots with photographers and stuff. And then once we were about to be married, we were like, eh, we just want our wedding photos at this point, you know? So we haven't done one of these in so long. I'm getting ready for that today. I already did my makeup, but I still need to do my hair, as you can tell. So I wanted to film it because I'm curling it and I haven't done an updated curling routine on my channel in like forever. I think I don't even know if there's one on here to be honest so today's video is an updated hair curling tutorial to curl my hair I use this Kristen s one and one fourth inch barrel I got this from Target but I think you can get them at lots of places but the one and one fourth inch barrel is like gonna be your best friend for really nice curls unless you have really like shorter hair than me or a lot longer but this is my favorite barrel my hairdresser uses this size of an inch barrel too and i trust her opinion and her judgment so this is what i use i actually don't curl my hair in sections so i'm just gonna brush it all down i just washed it last night so we have freshly washed hair if you put any heat protectant or anything do it now obviously before you put heat on your hair i'm gonna leave out these front pieces i normally wait to do these until i'm in to my hair a little bit so i'm just gonna grab the first piece here i just like run the curling iron down the hair at first just to kind of smooth it out if you already have really smooth or straight hair you might not need to do that but i do not so i just do that at first go down like halfway and spin your curling iron around don't leave it for too long and then you like take it out and then twist it take it out and then kind of just go down the end something like that now do not touch these curls okay you do not want to touch your curls when they're hot you want them to be cool when you brush them out or do anything with them so as soon as you curl if it looks a little too curly or too bouncy that's okay just leave it i'm not sure if you can see this very well i hope so spin it then straighten the ends but for some pieces i do like more spins than others just because i want more of a beachy look than just all around curl look so i will show you how i do those like beachier ones too i keep like looking off to the side into my mirror over here okay so for the beachier ones you don't go down halfway stay kind of towards your head and then you know spin it or twist whatever want to call it twist it but don't drag it down this time then drag it down and twist so you're just doing a lot more twist in this curl than in the other type and then still straight in the end but you can see this one is like way twistier and curlier than the others and that's how it's supposed to look so I'll go ahead and do another one like that just so you can really see also don't forget to curl away from your face so on this side of my face i'm always going to curl this way and then this side i'm going to curl this way you can see how like curly and bouncy these ones are compared to the other which is good that's good and i know some people might get intimidated by that because it's like so curly but i swear once you brush it out it's not even going to look like that at all and especially once it's cooled off so now i'm just going to go back to not the really curly beachy ones just like the normal ish ones does anyone else like i will curl my hair for a while i don't know like have my hair curled for like a week or two weeks or so and then i will just be so sick of my hair curled like i will be like i'm never curling my hair again i'm only ever gonna have it straight because i just will get so sick of it does that happen to anyone else or am i just a little bit crazy I'm going to do another beachy -er wave for this one. Really, you can just throw those in like random or sometimes if I want my hair to just look really beachy-ish, I will do this type of curl all over my head. It just does take a little bit longer, but not a lot longer. 
I'm gonna go ahead and do this front piece to show you so depending on what style of like hair I'm going for sometimes I will make this piece like really voluminous and to do it like that I'm not gonna do it because I don't think I want my hair to look like that today have it around my curling iron and bring my curling iron up this way so like back over my head you know what I mean I'm just gonna pretend so I'd be like this and then like holding it up this way which I like I said don't want today so I'm not gonna hold it there but that's how to make it really like it'll be like you know what I'm saying but for today's purposes I just want like a subtle little curl in the front of my head just gonna hold it down to the side and then twist like I've done all the others and then like straight in the bottom I have these little baby hairs right here that are just really honestly really short I don't even really touch those when I curl my hair though they're pretty hidden under the rest of my hair anyways and I don't want to put heat on them so I'll just leave those once I feel like my hair is like split down the middle like this side is all done then I'll kind of switch to the other side so I'll just throw all these curls behind my shoulder and then so this side I actually start from the front and go backwards and for this this side for some reason I always start in the back and come forward I don't know why it just seems to be easier in my head so that's the way that I curl this side of my head and then just start curling like the normal curls I got my hair colored in December a few weeks before our wedding and then now I don't have an appointment to get it colored until August so low-key that like scares me going from December until August but if you know if you've been following me for a while my good friend Caitlin is the one who colors my hair and I'm just she's the only person that's ever colored my hair ever so it just always freaks me out like trying to find a new person and I don't know I'm so picky about my hair and the way that it looks and so not that I like I obviously know the other hairstylists out there are so good I'm not like discrediting anyone I just get so nervous about going to a new hairstylist so the only time I've gone to anywhere here in Texas is just to get it trimmed or when I got a clarifying treatment on it but other than that I literally haven't gotten colored anywhere but in Ohio and I just don't know if my hair can make it until August because we have so many trips coming up planned for this year and so I'm like I would love to have my hair done for those so I don't really know what I'm gonna do about that yet since I'm not going back to Ohio until August I'm really glad though that the last time I got my hair done I had a dark root because if my hair were still platinum there's no way my roots would be so grown out because this is like my natural color now so if I had platinum hair that would look absolutely terrible I'm gonna do one of those like beachier waves right here just because I said I just will put them like randomly kind of throughout I don't really do those for the back of my head but definitely on the sides just kind of random and where they're at doing another one of the beachy waves here let me get closer to the camera this time hopefully so you can kind of see what's going on here and then for the end you just drag it down so now I'm doing the front piece of this side which is the last piece of hair to curl now my curls are looking like this which looks crazy I know but you want your curls to cool I'm telling you they have to cool or else they will just fall right out if you brush them out when they're hot that's like the worst thing you could possibly do so I like to let mine cool for like 15 to 20 minutes if your hair doesn't hold curl very well while they're still hot like this like as soon as you're done curling hairspray the heck out of them or however much hairspray I usually use just so they're getting sprayed when they're like really curly before we're gonna brush them out so I'll be back when they're all cooled okay my curls are all cooled now so to like brush them out you can either use a brush a comb your fingers literally whatever you want to use I like to use my fingers just because it keeps the curl still intact where a brush just kind of makes my hair frizzy a little bit so this is what I do literally just run my fingers through my hair get all the curls you know loose and not stuck together and like really curled how they were if you don't want to use your fingers I would maybe use like a wide mouth comb over a brush that's just my personal preference though so once your curls are all brushed out it should look something like this I like my curled hair to look 
voluminous but not crazy like huge you know but still have some volume to it so i like to go in with texture spray this is my favorite texture spray literally the best it's kind of pricey but totally worth it and it lasts for a while this is the texturiza spray by unite so i like to just kind of hold my hair up spray and then like fluff it also this spray literally smells amazing so this is the final product of how i curl my hair so now all that's left to do is get ready for the shoe like i said it's like vintage beach vibes so i'm gonna wear a black swimmy with like a button up over it unbuttoned and some baggy jeans once i get my outfit picked up though i'll show you and everything and i'm gonna take my new cowgirl hat that i just got because it's literally so cute let me grab it and show you we have so many trips this summer like i said so i wanted a hat that i could take to all my trips and it would just go with like a bunch of swimsuits and whatever so this is the hat i got it's from amazon it was like 25 or 30 dollars or something you can't tell me that this isn't the cutest straw cowboy hat you've ever seen though like it's so cute okay i change into my outfit so i have this black swimsuit and i'm wearing the bottoms too from buff bunny collection i'm pretty sure is how you say it and then i have these vintage levi's they're like literally five sizes too big because they're men's i thrifted them so yeah that's why they don't fit but i think it looks cute for the vibe and then this little silk button up is from white fox so this is the outfit i think i'm gonna wear my white converse too and then when johnny gets dressed i'll show his outfit too johnny's ready so we're gonna show his fit glasses are from jade black jade black the shirt is michael kors pants let me guess h&m mm -hmm. And some Converse. We're both They're wearing fake Converse. Converse. I didn't pick out my outfit. Let's just put that out there on the internet. Yeah, but you look very, very handsome. Thank you. Let's show in the mirror what we look like together. So we look awfully cute. Oh, yeah. We're on the way to the shoot now, so I'm going to end this video here. But I hope that this was really helpful for how to curl your hair and how I curl mine. And hopefully you learned something from it. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to and follow me on Instagram and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!